Yo guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a debug camera. It's so easy. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to your BP player. So whatever you're using, whatever you're using for your main character, go to his blueprint, go to the event graph. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bind this to the number nine key. You can make this whatever key you want, you can make it 5, you can make it F key, whatever you want. You can make it a letter, anything. Spawn actor. From class. Spawn actor none. Change the class. Switch it to spectator. Pawn. And then from spawn transform, you do get actor transform. Next, what you're gonna do, drag out from here, type in possess, and if this doesn't show up for you, just uncheck the context sensitive box. Just make sure it only says possess. Sweet. So return value, go ahead and drag that to in pawn. Take your target, drag out, get player controller. And to make sure I have the correct one, I just put the context back on so it's nice and easy. Boom. That is it. So I'm actually going to make a comment. I'm going to call it debug camera. So it doesn't get lost in your blueprints and you know what this is at all times. You can also change the font size. I like to make it nice and big for my debug stuff so I know to remove it when I'm done with the project. So push play. You're walking around. Good, good. Push nine. There you go, you can use your mouse and keyboard and spacebar to move around. Push C to go down, space to go up. You can look around. I use this a lot when I have my sorting layers. So I know that, oh, okay, my player is in front of the wall. And then over here, this wall would be on top of the player and it's perfect. That's it. Thank you so much. Let me know what type of videos you guys want to see and I'll do them. Thank you.